Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey, everyone. Okay, so the internet has done some really amazing things for news. Not great things for the news business, but great things for news. And one of the things that it's done that's awesome is it's made news about the conversation. Now, if newspapers and bloggers and citizen journalists are smart about this, they know that they need to take responsibility, as much responsibility, for the quality of the conversation as they do for the quality of the news they provide. What does this mean? This means providing the right tools for community moderation, having enough resources to police that community a little bit, but it also means that we need your help. And here's why we need our, your help. It's because comments, a lot of them just suck. They're angry, and they're awful, and they're unproductive. And as a reporter, it just makes me want to cry sometimes, some of the stuff people say, because it just, it's an opportunity to come together, and sometimes people don't do it. And the reason why it's important to do this is because journalists for a very long time have had to rely on the same old, well-oiled machine of PR representatives, press releases, things like that. But what the internet's doing is it's putting us directly in contact with the people we serve. So it brings us back to the root of what we do. So first thing you want to do when you think about your comments is uh, the impact. So if you want to join in the commenters about Britney Spears and liberal conservative, you can bet no one's going to listen to you and no one's going to care. So what you do is you go to your local news site, be it a blog or a newspaper, and you talk about those stories. Now, everyone knows <laughs> that being angry on some of these comment boards does absolutely nothing. But until these trolls wake up one morning and realize how very lame they're being, they're not going to go away. So for the rest of us, what you have to do to fight the trolls is ignore them. Focus on what's smart. Focus on a smart paragraph in the story or the blog post. Focus on a smart comment. Just respond to that. Telling somebody that they misspelled the, no one's going to give you a high five. Don't even bother. So, one thing you can do when you're thinking about what to comment is to tell us what you think. Now, you'd be surprised how many people tell us what they think without thinking. It'll be a reactionary kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about. So actually aim your anger. Think about the issue. Read the story. Some people don't even read the story. What that does is it kind of maps out this, uh, the fault lines of conflict in a community or a coverage area. And it just so happens that along those fault lines of controversy and conflict is where change can happen and where reporting does the most good. Second thing you can do is tell us your story. So the reporter, the blogger, didn't get to you, didn't quote you. Quote yourself. It's the beauty of the comment board. Go on there and tell your story. You, you live down the street from a shooting. You know a different angle on something. Tell us that, and it will better the journalism for the whole community. Now, what that does is it expands our Rolodex. Once again, we're kind of reporters anyway, the, the paid kind. Now there's all sorts. Uh, you know, used to rely on the same people for sources of news. But once you start cultivating a community, it's, it's like self-generated news. It's a beautiful thing. Third thing you can do, tell us what you know. Now, a lot of journalists, a lot of reporters like to think that we're really smart. Uh, but we're really not, and that's one of the things that the internet's proving is, yeah, who cares? Anybody can do this stuff, really. And one of the things you can do is go on there, send a link, put up a study, whatever you know, and do it with respect. Do it with the knowledge that news is a process and that one person isn't supposed to have all the answers. And what this does is it brings 600,000 heads in Seattle, a million heads in whatever city you're in, together, and that's always better than one reporter, one blogger. Most important thing you can do uh, when you're leaving a comment is to ask a question. It's not done nearly enough. Ask a good question. Don't ask a question like, who cares? That's my least favorite comment. Second least favorite comment, why is this news? Ugh, explain yourself when you ask a question, please. We'll do our best to answer. Recently, those of you in Seattle know about, uh, we flushed $5 million down the toilet with these high-tech toilets uh, that uh, became havens for prostitution and drug users. And so we covered the fall of those toilets so much that we didn't actually cover what's going to happen with the need for those toilets now. So a reader asked a question, a letter to the editor, we wrote the story about it. Now, not all sites are going to ask you to introduce yourself, name yourself, the best sites do, you still should own up to your ideas. It's always a you know, better way to get, account get accountable for them. So the other thing is, uh, these are some of the people who work at the PI, but you know, there's bloggers, there's people who live right down your street who are actually covering your street. We're human beings. And again, what the internet should be doing is bringing us all together, making news a conversation, making it participatory and so everybody's involved. So to sum up, you go for impact, you ignore the trolls, you tell us what you think, what you know, what you've lived, you ask a lot of questions, and you get to know us. Send us an email, you know, follow us on Twitter. A couple of us are actually on there. And uh, you know what this does is, again, as a reporter, uh, there were days, and I don't think I really lived through them, I guess, but there were days when a reporter could only talk to one person at a time. And now, while we sleep, you guys can talk to us. And all that it can do, all that that can do is better journalism for everybody. So you know, go online, leave a comment this week if you haven't done it before. Think about it a little bit. 
And uh, if you think you can do better, prove it. Start up a blog. Do a blog for your neighborhood. Show us. Journalists, are, they don't have to be paid. You can be paid, you can be unpaid, you can be employed, you can be unemployed. Anybody can do this. Join the conversation.